Well, here we go. Here's Tomlin over here, obviously. Kobe Jones there. And Tomlin is essentially on the field here. And you just wonder, he's trying to get out of the way there, looking the other way, but glancing back over his shoulder. But you can see he kind of did force Jacoby Jones back into the field. A little mission accomplished almost. You check in the backfield with Garoppolo, stays in the block. Jimmy dancing around. Stumbles, goes down, flag thrown. Oh boy. Boy's team. Tripping. Defense. Mm. Number 31. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. You don't see that call very often. Yeah, he was all tied up with use check. And as Garoppolo started to scramble, watch this leg come right out and end up tripping Garoppolo. You're right, Al. You don't see that one no. once or twice a year. But any defensive foul is an automatic first down. Right. <laughs> That's a good call. On the 12, Jones keeps, gets a block, takes off, and he is gone. Trying to stay upright, and he tries. Room to work with here. Holmes to the 30. And then heads out of bounds, shy of the 35-yard line. And injured Dolphin on the play is Nolan Carroll. He is on the Jets sideline. Boy, it looked like he got tripped by one of the uh, members of the Jets staff. Well, this is just uncalled for in the NFL. Watch the knee here being stuck out on purpose to trip up Nolan Carroll. Not sure who that person is, but they should be ashamed of themselves for that type of action that has no place in any athletic event. Fall off some with his left hand when going to his right, which is unusual. They fake an end around and they get it to Smith, who falls down after picking up a first down. Game six, A.J. Hawk was out there for the Packers. Not as bad as it looks. Falls, stumbles, somehow gets up, gets rid of it, and completes. Oh. Really tripped himself. And then gets tapped with his knee down by Miles Garrett. There's Manny. Throws it wide open is Decker. Eric Decker off to the races. He tripped over the 45-yard line, but was untouched. Got up and gets to the 30. So it oh. Elliott. Big hole. Hurdle. Inside the 20. Loses his balance, but he gets inside. Look at this. I mean, can you imagine? Fake the board. Smith moving to his left, and he'll awkwardly slide and then roll. You've only got one receiver down the field, and then you've got Bruce Miller as your outlet in the flat. And Minnesota defended it well. Uh, Palmer off his back foot. It's intercepted. It's Brandon Browner, and Browner is going to take it down inside the 10 as he trips at about the five-yard line. Brandon Browner almost had a pick six and rolls his way down inside the five. A pass is to Bronkowski and he just trips on his own. On oh, second and goal, this is Joe Mixon showing that dynamic cutback ability, but he loses his footing. Now, one of the things that Marvin Lewis said that he won. Third down and eight. Newton slings it. Burson on the catch, and he's got a first down, and the turf monster got him. Ryan floats one. He's got Douglas. And Douglas makes the catch. The 49er sideline says that ball. Remember, this is third down, and that ball moved. Let's take another look. Coming near side, gets a block, and he slips. Fans just sensing it with his speed. Good snap, good hold, and the kick is blocked! And that ball had no chance because he's going to hit the rear end of an offensive lineman. Yep. The poor footing again. We talked about the nine-yard line, and Franks puts this one on a bounce. Well, a slippery field. There's the plant and the slide, and that's why this ball came out on about six bounces to Devlin.
When you think about the Patriots with two times. And a field goal. He fell. And he hits the upright. He fell. Slipped. Big divot. Yeah. <laughs> And Hansen takes a nosedive after kicking that one off. And this one is returned by Lissamore, who can run with it. His teammates on the sideline after a 38-yard return.